guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i would like to show you how i achieved this beautiful eye makeup look don't forget to like share and subscribe and keep on watching So here we have the P. Louise Eye Base shade Rumor 2 and here we have the Sephora Airbrush Concealer Brush. I'm a little bit lazy on this part so I just slap it on my eyes and blend it with the brush. I love this eye base because it's almost like a concealer but better. It's really full coverage so it's really nice to do colourful makeup. If you're looking to do just subtle eye makeup, it's better off with the Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, it's clear base. Next up we have this ABH palette and we will use Bobbi Brown Eye Sweep Brush and the shade Headliner which is a pure white and apply it on my brow bones. I apply just a tiny bit because it's so pigmented. Next up we have the Natural Collection Eye Coat in shade Brown. I didn't do anything fancy here, it's just a straight line using cold eyeliner. It doesn't have to be neat as long as it's a straight line because we will just smudge it out later with the brush. And today we will use Bobbi Brown Ultra Fine Eyeliner Brush. I'm doing the brown eyeliner first because I would like to make sure I get the right eyeshadow placement later on. I simply prefer this technique to create bright eyeshadow look but also something quite wearable. If you're not looking to do something wearable, you could just get your eyeshadow brush and apply it straight to your eyes but I prefer this technique because it looks very nice and neat. And then I just blend my eyeliner up just to make sure I get the eye shape that I'm after. So we'll go back to eye call pencil that we have earlier and line our waterline. Just line it like that, it doesn't have to be neat. And go back to the ultra fine liner brush and just smudge it out. Don't forget to connect your bottom lash line and your top eyeliner as well. So I decided that I want a bigger wing, so I go back with my eyeliner and blend it in with the eyeliner brush that we have earlier. And we will apply the base eyeshadow, this is Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in shade Coco number 13. And we'll apply it with Scott Barnes blending brush C2 which is my favourite brush. So I dab the product just on the other corner of my eyes and then blend it up back and forth like that. Clean the brush with the tissue before you do this step. Make sure any excess eyeshadow is off from the brush. Once the brush is clean, blend the eyeshadow to make sure the eyeshadow edges is completely diffuse, no edges can be detected. Using the same palette that we have earlier in shade DDG and the Bobbi Brown Smoky Liner Brush. The formula of this eyeshadow is very chunky. It's so chunky that it feels like cream. It doesn't apply too well with the brush. That's why I, I always go back to the pan and actually pick the pigment up again and again. But it works. I just follow what I had earlier, so just make another wing basically. So I'll pat the purple eyeshadow on again. As you can see, it looks much more purple than earlier. I add the purple on my lower lash line and smoke the eyeshadow out. On this part I just slowly blend the eyeshadow into my inner corner and work my way all the way out into the wing. Now 
Make sure to blend the eyeshadow all the way up to the wing as well so you just connect the wing and the lower lash line together. I applied the purple eyeshadow all over my lid and blend it up with the Bobbi Brown Smoky Liner brush. This is Glossier Lash Sleep Mascara and this is one of my favourite mascara of all time. Apply a mascara from the roots and flick it up. It will give you that fan out effect on your lashes so it doesn't look clumpy at all. Next we have Drawing Eyebrow by Etude House. I think this one in shade grey black and I will just brush my hairs with a spoolie and fill it in with the brow pencil. The brow pencil has that slanted tip so it's really easy to get the right shape on your brows and I'll just brush my brow hairs down and fill in the arch of my brows. So we are going back to DDG again and we'll use our finger to pick the pigment up and tap it on our lid just like that and today we'll use perfect cover bb cream by misha in shade 23 and bobby brown full coverage brush this bb cream is medium to full coverage with very high spf i think it's spf 42 it also claims it has skincare benefit in the BB cream and also on the aging property in there. It applies beautifully on the skin with the sponge or buffing brush like what I did right now. I think it came in 11 shades right now. I, I think everyone should try this BB cream. Next up we'll use Bobbi Brown Full Cover Concealer in i3 and Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer Brush. I just apply it on my inner corner the side of my face up to the temple area the cupid's bow my nose bridge on my chin and my forehead usually So only use a brush on your under eyes area and your cupid's bow or like your nose bridge. At this point I didn't really know why I used such a small concealer brush to actually blend every single thing. Just use a beauty blender to blend your larger areas such as your forehead and your chin. It will just work quicker with the sponge so it won't take ages like I did. <laughs> And we will use Too Faced Born This Way loose powder and we can just pick any powder puff that you have at home. I want my makeup to last longer so I have slightly oily skin so I have to do something called baking which is like pressing um, loose powder under your eye, your nose bridge, anywhere that's quite oily around your skin and let it sit for like about 5-10 to 10 minutes. If you have dry skin, do not do this because it can look slightly cakey and extremely dry. We'll go back to our eyes once we are done with baking. And here is Naked Cosmetic Pigment in I301 and Bobbi Brown Eye Smudge Brush. I only apply it on my inner corners. It's really sheer, it just gives you that slight lit in within. I think it's really pretty. Once this one done, we'll go into lips and we are here using MAC in Whirl. Lip liner just to make your lips look neater and crisp. Also, it does make your lipstick last longer throughout the day. Whirl is my favourite lip pencil from MAC. It's such a nice shade. It has that perfect brown but also a tinge of pink into it. It's not too yellow or coral. 
what I'm doing right now is filling every single corner of my lips. It will make my lipstick last longer because I only put lipstick on the middle of my lips. And for lipstick, we have Matte Powder Kiss Lipstick in Sultry Move. This lipstick is quite interesting. It has that matte finish, but it feels quite moisturizing. It feels almost like plushy, if you know what I mean. It also feels really thin and airy. Per usual, I will use Tom Ford Glow Bronzer in O2 Terra and Bobbi Brown Powder Brush. So I can't really be bothered to actually do whole face contour thing. So I'll just use a bronzer and let it do its thing. When applying bronzer, make sure you actually start from your hairline and work all the way out towards your cheeks area. If you apply it from the hairline's area, let's say if your bronzer goes really patchy, you could hide it with your hair or you could just blend it in with your beauty blender. So for blush, I'll use Makeup Forever Artist Palette in B308 and use the same brush that we used for bronzer earlier. I apply it from the bronzer and flick it up to the apple of your cheeks. This way you'll get your blush looks very diffuse and airbrush. Next up we have Mink and CO Lash 3D Eminence. And we will use Duo Glue in Clear. And make sure you wait 30 seconds before you apply your lashes onto your eye. I use tweezers to apply the lash just to make my life easier. I apply the middle section um, on my eyes first and then adjust the inner corner and the outer corner to fit my eyes. And I like a bit of eyeliner so I'll use Arch Liner Ink in Shibui Black by Shiseido. So what I'm doing right now is just fill in my inner corners just to connect my lash line and the falsies that I have. My falsies is quite big and this eyeliner actually very fine and it has that arch. Make it easier for you to fill in your eyeliner while you have big lashes like what I have right now. The tip of this eyeliner is really small and it's actually perfect for Asian eyes or any hooded eyes. The formula also great, it's waterproof and very long lasting. So once I got my wing done, I basically just line my um, under eye as well with the liquid liner and I decided to half in a corner liner as well so it's kind of like a fox eye liner and just line it all across my under eye so it looks quite nice and sharp Last but not least, we have the setting spray by Smashbox and this is the water primer. I just set my face quickly just to make sure it lasts all day on my face. It also take away the cakiness from the powder earlier. And here is my final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and put the post notification bell on and I'll see you on the next one.